When you think of Google Maps, you probably think of finding the fastest route. But I found the fastest way to pull business leads from it. Every business you see on Google Maps is verified and already has its details publicly available. And with this AI agent, you can extract all that information automatically into a single Google Sheet in just a few seconds. Just fill out a simple form and you'll get a ready to use database with names, websites, emails and contact details that you can use for market research, lead generation or complete analysis. So in this video, I'll show you how to build and run your own Google Maps Scraper AI agent step by step. I'm Brian from Website Learners and let's get started. I'll show you how to access the workflow and set it up step by step. And to do that, first we need to get the N8 in hosting. We are going to purchase N8 in from Webspace Kit where we get unlimited workflow executions and unlimited active workflows. Since N8 is open source, you get so much more benefits when you host it on your own on a platform like Webspace Kit. So to host N8 on Webspace Kit, just click the link in the description and it'll take you to this page. Scroll down, now click here. Here, choose how long you want the hosting for. Then fill in these details. Here, enter your payment details and click checkout. Now click here and you can see that we have successfully got the N8N hosting. So once you've got the hosting, next we need to set up the N8N automation. To do that, just scroll down, click on go to setup, fill in these details, click next and it'll take you to this page. Now this is the place where we are going to create the workflow. You can create a workflow from scratch, but it takes a lot of time. So to make things easier, we've already created workflow templates and it is already available in Webspace Kit for free. To get the template, go back to Webspace Kit, scroll down and here you'll find different workflow templates for various AI agents. Since we are creating a Google Maps Scraper AI agent, let's select that and click download. Perfect. The template has been downloaded to our computer and we need to import this workflow into our NATN account. So let's go back to NATN. Then click here. Select import from file and upload the workflow file you just downloaded. As you can see here, we've got our workflow. All right, we have successfully imported our workflow and now we are ready to configure the nodes and connect the required API services to our workflow. So the first step is to connect Appify to N8N. Appify is a web scraping tool that extracts data from websites and here we are using it to pull leads directly from Google Maps. So to connect Appify to N8N, let's open this node. And here we need to add the Appify API key. To get the API key, click the link in the description. Now click on get started and log in with your Google account. Good. We are in API. Now let's go to settings. Now click on API and integrations. Here's the API key. So let's copy it. Go back to N8 and paste it here. All right. We are successfully connected Appify to our workflow. Now let's move on to the OpenAI node. We are going to use OpenAI to clean the data we get from Appify so that it's easier to use. So let's go to the second step, which is to connect OpenAI to N8N. Okay, so to connect OpenAI to N8N, open this node. Click here. And select create new credentials. Here we need to enter the API key for our OpenAI account. To get the API key, click the link in the description and sign in with your Google account. Now go to API keys, click create new secret key. Here, give a name for your key and click create secret key. As you can see, we now have our API key. But keep in mind, you'll only be able to get an API key from OpenAI if you've added a payment method first. Now let's copy this key, paste it in N8N. and click save. Great, we are now successfully connected OpenAI to our N8N account. And now let's go to the third step, which is to connect Google Sheets to N8N. Google Sheets is where all the leads will be stored in an organized way so that we can access them anytime. So let's open this node. 
click on select credential drop down and click create new credential here we need to add some credentials so to get them let's open a new tab here and search for google developer console click on the first link click mail now we need to create a new project let's name it google scrape and create it now click select project and click enable apis and services here search for sheets and click on google sheets api now enable it next go to oauth consent screen and click get started here enter the app name let's say google scrape then select your email from the drop down and click next here select external and click next now here add your email address click next check the box to agree to the user data policy and click create again now just click create oauth client click here select web application and name it lead scrape now click add url here we need to enter a redirect url which we will get from na10 so let's go back to na10 and copy this url switch back to this tab paste it here and click create click okay and now we need to copy the credentials so let's click on the edit icon here copy the client id go back to n18 and paste it here switch to the or tab again copy the client secret go back to n18 and paste it here now go back to this tab go to audience click publish app and confirm it now let's go back to n18 and click here to sign in with your google account select all permissions and click continue now change the name to lead api and save it now let's close this model all right now click on the google sheet link in the description in the sheet go to file make a copy and click make a copy now go back to n18 click here and select copy of map leads also click here and select sheet 1 We also need to configure the update road node. So let's open it. Click here and select copy of map leads. Also click here and select sheet 1. All right. We have now successfully connected Google Sheets to NA10. Now let's go to the final step which is to connect any mail finder to NA10. Any mail finder will help us get verified email addresses for the leads so that we can contact them right away. So to connect any mail finder to N18, let's open this node. Here we need to enter the API key. So to get the API key, click the any mail finder link in the description. Let's go to the app and log in. I'll use my Google login. To use the any mail finder API key, we need to add some credits. So click add credits. Select the plan that best suits your needs and click on start trial. I'll enter the card details here and start the trial. Then click on API. Copy the API key. Go back to N18 and paste it here. Perfect. We have successfully connected any mail finder to N18. So just click on save to store your workflow. 
So now we have connected all the required API services with our NATN workflow and it's ready to run. Just click execute workflow and this form will pop up. Here enter your search parameters. Let's say you want to find wedding planners in Chennai. So just enter wedding event planner in the keyword field and Chennai in the location field. Here enter the maximum number of results you want. I will set this to 100 and once that is done, click submit to start the automation. You can see that our workflow has started to run in the background and once it is done, go to your Google Sheet and as you can see, we've got the list of leads with their names, addresses, neighborhood and even their website all organized in our Google Sheet automatically. So that's it guys, this is how you can build and run your own Google Maps scraper using NA10. You can use this automation to collect business leads, build prospect lists and quickly find local services without doing manual searches. So now it's your turn. Go ahead and give it a try. And if you found this helpful, do give it a like and subscribe to Website Learners for more quick tutorials like this one. Also, you can get our latest videos directly on WhatsApp. You can just scan the QR or tap the link and hit follow. And that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.